Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome fifth wheel toy hauler. This one with a 14 foot garage. This is a 2022 Dutchman Voltage model 4235. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Voltage and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. again welcome back to another video my name is Matt from Matt's and Wells RV Reviews Tobles it's world's only channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every travel trailer fifth wheel and toy hauler that we review and again today I am super excited to be taking a look at this all new 2022 voltage but before I begin I would like to say hi to Will hey Will hey guys how's it going it's going good <clears throat> so we are still here in Tampa I'm sorry where the heck I don't know uh, RV1 of Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes, sir. 704-743-5280. So, yep, exactly. So, huge thanks to them. Thank you so much for letting us record here. Um, and I'm super excited to take a look at this because it's a 2022. Yes. And it's a toy hauler fifth wheel, which we don't always get a lot of them. Yeah. So, you know, excited to bring one to you early in the year. Yep. And we really appreciate RV1 of Charlotte. Of course. They take an amazing care of us. So. Yes. Well, let's begin. All right. Model is 4235 voltage. The actual tip tip length of this fifth wheel is 42 feet long. The dry weight is... 14,900 pounds and the hitch weight is 3,231 pounds. That's heavy. Yes, very heavy. <clears throat> now we do have a nice painted fiberglass front cap right there. Really nice voltage. I like the chrome look. Yeah. Very, very nice. Right here we do have this. Look at this, Will. This is the Kurt okay. Roto Flex. Now, Kurt still owned by Lipper Components. Right. But still, it's nice to see different pin boxes. Since this is a Dutchman, it does have the three year structural warranty. Very, very nice. Coming on down the side here, we do got your batteries. You can see your hydraulic reservoir for your high, six point hydraulic all leveling. So this is the gas generator, the QG5500. Very, very nice Cummins generator right there. Coming on down the side here. Right here, you can see your propane tanks, very nice. Okay, right here, we do have storage. Okay, all the way through. All right, and then what I really do like is that it does have the slam latch doors for the storage. Frameless windows throughout this whole fifth wheel. And then we do have the power awning with LED lights. Nice. Now it is being, okay, there is two awnings, which is nice. And then there's really the three. Is this? Is this, what do you mean? On the back. Oh yeah, three Onyx. Wow. That's a nice big TV. This is a huge TV entertainment center. I absolutely love this. Yeah. Yeah, this is a nice big long fifth wheel. Whoops. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the um good ride. I love those. 215-75 R17.5 with your Mori CRE 3000 suspension. Very nice. Again, another awning right here door entryway to the garage area very nice the aluminum fold up steps it's okay because it does have the solid steps right there right <clears throat> coming around the back we do have a nice ramp door more ride zero g ramp door this does make a patio and as will said there is a third awning right there very nice feature yes and it does uh come prep with the furion backup camera cool Finishing up, does have a ladder to get up on the roof. Will, are we climbing up here? I don't know, are you? No, we're not. Okay. We, don't, we do not climb on toy haulers anymore. Okay. Uh, don't like the side ladder. It's just really weird. Right here, we do have fuel fill up, emergency shut off valve because you actually have like a fuel pump for you to fuel up your toys, your golf carts, your ATVs, cool stuff like that. Right over here is your black tank flush, okay? And then down here, uh, that's where you dump your black and gray tank right there. Okay. 50 amp service right here. Water heater. And then here is your water hookup. I love this. Outdoor shower, city water connection, black tank plush, potable water fill. Potable, potable. Ew, that was, that was nasty. That was say, sad. say that again. Potable, potable. Very good. And then right there is your auto leveling controllers. 
and then here's the other propane tank. Well, well, the outside of the Voltage looks great, but it is the inside that looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Oh, I didn't mention it does have the all weather package. Oh, cool. Okay. We'll start up front in the bedroom. Nice big bedroom up here. Coming down. We got the bathroom right there. And then down these steps, you got your kitchen and dining and living area all in one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so right back here, Will, we do have the bunk beds, okay? What's really nice about these beds, they do come down. Right. You have that full bed up there. Also, this is a dinette right. that morphs into a bed, okay? Very nice. As you can see, it does have the teddy bear mattress right there. We're, we're running short on time, guys. We got to get to the Hershey show, so we're not going to yeah. stage this. Um, But that bed does go up there. You do have those four season doors. Also, the steps because you have an entranceway from the patio. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You got these D-rings tied down here. And then this is very unique. I that actually is. think I like this, okay? I think I do too. So here's the half bathroom, right? Obviously this way, <laughs> this is a prime poop position. You know what I'm saying? I don't have any walls, you know? Right. Um, but the, how the door folds in, uh, it boxes it off. And what's real nice, I'm gonna tell you why I like this in a little bit. Okay. Um, that's a ladder to get up on that top bunk. And then, well, can you show that entertainment center right up there? Yeah, so this TV does drop down a little bit. And then you got some storage up top on both sides. Yep. And that's kind of your controls for your bed lift and awning and all that. Yes. Very nice bathroom. We're going to touch on this a little bit later. And then right here, this is prepped if you do want to have a washer and dryer. Yep. Which is always a nice feature, especially when you're talking toy haulers. Exactly. You're going out on the track, you're going mud, and you're going dirt. <laughs> you you know? can do stackable there, right? Yes. Yes. And then over here, look at this. This is a very unique design. It is. Oh, uh, you do have a loft area. Okay. Right there. But so many times the entertainment center will be here and it will be very tight. But it this, will. I like this. This makes it more spacious, okay? Nice white furniture. Um, it's this type of material that's not going to, you know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, it's not leather, or but whatever. it's not. Uh, we do have our slow rise shades. Yep. Very nice. How do you like the balances? They're fine. They're a little big. Yeah, they're actually opinion. really big balances. Yeah. Got your cup holder here, massage chair and everything. And what's real nice is that um, these do recline. No, oh, nice. Oh, even the middle. Of course. It's the, well, Will, it's the Thomas Pink. Oh. And what's really nice is that we are directly across from the entertainment center. Nice big TV. Yes, it is. That's what I want in a toy hauler. DVD player, CD player, radio player, right? Yeah. This right here. But what's really nice is that instead of it being an entertainment center, it's more of like a countertop app. Right. You know what I'm saying? So Will's going to show you this in a little bit. Okay. Uh, but first, Will, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. And well, this unit just arrived, so I don't know the MSRP, so let's uh -oh. go online to check out what it is. Okay. Great, and if you are interested in this voltage, the phone number 704-743-5280, RV1 of Charlotte. Make sure you tell them you saw it on Matt's RV Review, yes. and they're gonna hook you up with a fantastic deal. Will, show everybody the kitchen. All right, so we'll start right here where Matt left off. See, this is like a extension of the kitchen yeah. slash uh, entertainment area. But you got a couple drawers here, nice counter space, good size window that does open. Drawers, a little storage there. Wow. And underneath as well. Very nice. In there as well. <clears throat> and right over here behind me, you got some storage up top above the microwave. Yes, sir. This is a convection microwave okay. here. Okay, okay. Good backsplash there. Four burner insignia cooktop. Yes, sir. I love these burners and everything. And a nice residential oven right there. Very nice. Turkey tested and turkey approved. Got the, so they did the um, two-way, or the RV fridge in here. Yep. 
So this works off of gas or electric. I would assume it's an option to get residential, or you don't know. I would assume so as well. Yeah. Um, but we'll we'll go over that when we build it. Okay. Or maybe we already went over that online. I'm not sure. Okay. Look at nice all that storage. storage. So nice. And then a little coffee bar. It's gonna be hard to do a taco bar. It's a little right. narrow. Right. It has the width. It's but it's yeah. narrow. Yeah. Yeah. You got a couple more drawers here. Very the nice. Tight. And some storage underneath. Very very nice storage. Yes. Plenty of storage. Then right over here, last we have the kitchen island. Pretty good size island for our, a toy hauler. You yeah. The spray faucet here, all one color. I love that. Solid surface countertops throughout the whole kitchen. Mm. Nice single bowl sink. I do love these lights up there as well. Very yeah, nice. Very looking. nice. Jeez. And some drawers here. Yeah, it's a new camper. Well. Yeah. Hey, oh, that's a hundred and four dollar trash can. Sure is. And a little more storage there. Very really good nice. amount, actually. And it's a pretty decent sink. It is, yeah. Did you get some antifreeze on your hand? Something, I think so. <laughs> Perfect. It's now time for the shower test. All right. Going up the steps. Yep. Wow. Holy I love smokes. This shower. Is this a toy hauler or what? Right. That is very nice. You got plenty of room this way and this way in height and everything. This definitely passes. Bing! That's the shower test seal of approval right there. It sure is, and it's even got the little teak seat, so I love this. Yes, sir. And then right over there, we got the uh, sink and medicine cabinet and everything. Yep, nice medicine cabinet right there. Very yeah. nice. Nice sink right there. Yep. You may open these. Yeah. Couple drawers. Oh, man. Very nice. Very nice. There you go. Okay. It's now time for the toilet test. Okay. Perfect. This is nice, Will. Yeah, I think we might be in some luck here. Porson, well, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Very, Very nice. nice. And then we do have two ways that leads into the bat bedroom. Okay. I'll come this way. Very nice size bedroom. Whoa, king yeah, size king bed. Yeah, king size bed. Love that. Very nice. I like the headboard there, the side windows and everything. Right. We do have our TV and entertainment center right over here. Right here. Oh, hey, these tight are tight. Are. Yes, very tight drawers. Very nice, okay. Nice drawers and everything. You got your window right here. And then here we do got more storage, okay. And look at this, even more storage. Crazy. I love that. And then look Plus, at this. Yeah, show what's going on there. Nice uh, closet in here. Hang clothes here and some storage up top. Are people trying to come in? Nope. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, plenty of storage up top there. Let's see. Yes, let's there's see. Storage if there under the bed. Is storage under the bed? There sure there is. There sure is. And that's the table for the uh, living room area. Yes. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. That's the voltage. Now, before everybody leaves, okay, it's now time we give you three things we love about this toy hauler and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do foist? Three things we dislike? I wish you wouldn't say that. Oh. Well, well I, I, I don't like. know. No, no, no. We'll do that. I, I just don't know. No, that's I, fine because my like is right here. Okay. No, we'll do dislikes. Okay. I just got to think of it. Okay. First dislike was the black and gray tank dump. Oh, right. It was directly under the slide. It Terrible is what it is. Spot, but that, that's the only thing you can do you with the toy You got to hook it up hauler. before you put the slides in. That's all. Yep. That is number one. Well, number two. Okay. Dislike. Right. See, dislikes are tough, man. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a small, it's not that big of a deal. Talk to me. Oh, they put three ACs in it. Of That's course. Cool. Okay, um, if you were to put the washer and dryer in here, you would never be able to control the heat and AC. Wow, great point, great yeah. point. Not if you stacked them. Yeah, if you had an all-in-one, you'd probably be fine. But most people want the stackable, especially in a toy hauler. Perfect. That's number two. And then number three, well, it's gonna be a little weird. Okay. Um, this kitchen does feel awfully tight to me. Yeah. I, you, oh, wow. You know what I'm gonna say? What? Okay, the kitchen feel does feel tight to me. Uh-huh. That's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this okay. fifth wheel. You ready for this? Yeah. I love that extension there. Yes. And I love this here. Well, you wanna know what they could have done? They didn't need to put a kitchen island in. Yeah. It would have opened up this whole thing. 
This, I mean, at the end of the day, it is a toy hauler. This is plenty of countertop. Right, and if they made that bigger, that yep. would have been tons of counter space. Exactly, exactly. I don't know where they would have put the sink, but True. again, you know, I don't know. I mean, we don't design them. We, we don't just design them. them. Yeah, I, and <laughs> and I think with this toy hauler, you know, just cramming it all in here, I do like the additional countertop space, and um, yeah. So that's one thing I like about it. Yes. Well, number two. All right, coming back upstairs. Oh man, we're going up. Yeah. Okay, so normally I wouldn't comment on this again, but this big of a shower and a toy yes, hauler is yes. pretty awesome. One hundred percent. Just the fact that it's a toy hauler. Um, typically, you know, a lot of the space is in the back garage, so they shrink everything else up. But I love that huge shower. I one hundred percent concur. In Concord, <laughs> aren't we in Concord? No. Voltage. Concord, North Oh, Carolina. you mean our? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great, so that's number two. And then, well, number three is this half bath. Okay. Here's what I really like about it. Instead of boxing it off, you are you would be taking away two feet by six feet, 12, right. 12 square feet or 12 cubic feet. I don't know what, you know what I'm saying. Right. 12 square feet of garage space. Whereas since you're opening it up, you can park something against exactly. the toilet, you know what I'm saying? And then you do have this door to shut it off when if needed. it is a toy, when it is, when a you are camping. Or whatever, yeah. So while you're using it for transport, you're maximizing your space. Right. And um, and there's even a D-ring back there, which is oh, really nice. Oh, nice, yeah. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Short and sweet. That's the voltage. Big shout out to RV1 yes. in um, North Carolina. We're wrapping up the day here. The phone number is 704-743-5280. Thank you so much for hosting us yes, today. You guys you. have been absolutely awesome. We came in, they we, we we drove in here and there were smiles and they were so happy that we came here. So we're happy that we came here and we will 100% be back here again. Leave down in the comments below. Let us know if you want a, us to host a meet and greet next time we are in Charlotte, yes. North Carolina. Um, and make sure you guys let us know three things you like about it, three things you don't like about it. Will, is there anything you want to say? Of course. Yeah, guys, I think this is um, really a good value unit for a lot of the features that you're getting, like the three ACs, yes. the shower, this bathroom area. Um, like Matt said, let us know the three things you like and the three things you dislike. Make sure to uh, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes. so much for watching and well, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.